You know, my country was the first where they made cash illegal. 2016, digitalization was forced in the country. Eight o'clock in the evening announced midnight, cash was illegal, the big notes. And 70% of the economy crashed. This digitalization is now going all over the world and there's a war on cash. They call it war on cash because cash is merely a medium of exchange. It has no value in itself. It's just a promise. You read the dollar note, it says, I promise to pay the bearer. A, when it's digital, even a credit card, you know, you're giving rents to the global financial system. But when it's cryptocurrency in the hands of algorithms, in the hands of big tech, they will do what is happening in China. Create social credit system to Lock you up for the uh for the stupid commercial. Bear with me. Side, a new caste system. And you might have also followed that while all this has been happening, the founder of the World Economic Forum did a book called The Great Reset. And one of, and all, everything we're seeing unfold is part of that great reset. But an element of that great reset is, you will own nothing. Now, I'm a believer in the commons. And it would be so good if all land was a commons, if all seed was a commons, if food was a commons, if health was a commons, so that we had strong public health systems, strong community health system, deep knowledge about being healthy. But when... Paul Schwab says, you will own nothing. He said, we'll own it all. That's why you have gates, not just owning the seed. Wanting to own our food. One, of course, controls the hell. And now owning land. This, if any, if ever there was a time for humanity to wake up, now is the time. Yes, it is. So, yeah, man, she just, she mentioned uh, Billy Gates of Hell. Right, Billy Snakes, owner of Microsoft. Um, he says uh, in the book of the Great Reset that you will own nothing, and how um, Billy Gates already owned the um, the the vaccines. Basically, he he's into making money off vaccines, but really he's just into depopulation. He said it himself. Right in that TED talk, where he's good with um, you know reducing the population, but this digitalization of the currency, it's on the way to make the to make way for the MLTB. Um, and in twenty sixteen, it happened in, in uh, East India, in India, right, where their uh, finances turned digital and everything started collapsing you know and, and we see that happening here it happened in, i believe was it in um in jamaica started it started in africa started in the middle east and slowly making its way here right south america had a couple um countries collapse money was flying in the air people were burning money to stay warm you know, where it was uh, practically as useful as toilet paper. And that's what's coming, man. You know, for the love of, uh, of money, people are going to uh, accept this, man. And it's going to be a whole different kind of flex. But once once it's made law, which, you know, I've been saying this for a while, um, cryptocurrency was allowed here, right? Because the U.S., you know, Babylon does not allow new currency to happen here, you know, unless they're controlling it. So this whole thing with uh, Bitcoin, everybody was amped up. Everybody was posting how they made money off of it, how... 
how good it was, how they were getting rich off of it, how they weren't tied to the system that they was growing. Like they was treating Bitcoin like it was gold. Like the gold, the, the Bitcoin inflated value faster than gold in a short amount of time. And you think that um, the government was just going to just allow this type of currency to take over the U.S. dollar and create its own currency and, be, and, and coexist? You was, you're a fool if you thought that. It was just um, a prequel to what's happening now, man. It's going to go worldwide. You've been bamboozled, man. And a lot of people who put a lot of money and trust into the Bitcoin were buying a lot of stuff, man. They were buying homes, cars, everything, living a lifestyle off of this. And then when it crashed, they had no ways to maintain it. So now in December, Biden... Uh, we'll sign the paperwork to move forward for a digital currency here in the U.S. Right? Let's see. Here you go. This is at the um, the whitehouse.gov. Technical possibilities for a U.S. central bank digital currency. September 16, 2022. All right, President Biden often summarized his vision. Well, it's not really his vision. It's the Amalekites for America in one word. Possibilities. A digital dollar may seem far-fetched, but... Modern technology can make it a real possibility. A United States central bank digital currency would be digital form of the U.S. dollar, right? It's called the CBDC. While the U.S. has not yet decided whether it will pursue a CBDC, the U.S. has been closely examining the implications of and options for ensuing a CBDC. So... They said they haven't decided, right? But how are you not decided if you're already looking into pushing it? Right? This is on your website. Right? It has been closely examining the applications of and options for ensuing CBDC. Right? That that makes no sense. Look at that's contradictory, man. That's Esau speaking with a forked tongue. In one sentence. They say they have not decided whether it will pursue it, right? But the next sentence says, the U.S. has been closely examining implications of and options for ensuing CBDC. Hold on. Didn't you just say that they're not pursuing it, but yet they're looking into it? This is what I'm saying, man. This is in their website. I mean, the, this damn devil can't even... Uh, speak to you with a straight face, man. Even when he's trying to lie to you, right? And read it from the top. A United States central bank digital currency will be a digital form of the U.S. dollar, while the U.S. has not yet decided whether it will pursue a, CDC, a CBDC. The U.S. has been closely examining the implications of and options for ensuing a CBDC. If the U.S. pursued a CBDC, there could be many possible benefits, such as facilitating efficient and low-cost transactions, right? So they're going to make it look smooth. No more $2 charge for removing dollars. You know, you, you get a fee every time you take money out, right? They're trying to make it look smooth, right? Fostering great access to the financial system, boosting economic growth and supporting the continued central centrality of the U.S. 
within the international financial system. However, U.S. CBDC could also introduce a variety of risks as it might affect everything ranging from the stability of the financial system to the protection of sensitive data. Right, so they're letting you know that they're looking into it and they're going to try to protect your information. How? They're going to put this uh, device in you that's protected and locked with your biometrics, right? Notably, these benefits and risks might vary significantly based on how the CD, CBDC system is designed and de deployed. That is why Executive, executive Order 14067, 14067 ensuing responsib responsible development of digital assets place the highest urgency on research and development efforts into the potential design and, and deployment options of a U.S. CBDC. The executive order directed the Office of Science and Technology Policy, or the OSTP, in, con in consultation with other federal departments and agencies to submit to the president a technical evaluation for a potential U.S. CBDC system. Today, OSTP is published its report, Technically Evaluation for a U.S. Central Bank Digital Currency System, which lays out policy objectives for potential U.S. CBDC system and analyzes key techno techno technical design choices for a U.S. CBDC system. The report also estimates the technical feasibility of building a CBDC minimum viable product and describes how a U.S. CBDC system might affect federal operations. The report makes recommendations on how to prepare the federal government for a U.S. CBDC system, importantly, the report does not make any assessments or recommendations about whether the U.S. should pursue a CBDC, nor does it make any decisions regarding particular design choices for a potential U.S. CBDC system. All right, so they're looking into this, man. And, you know, I can't wait, man. I can't wait till it actually goes through, you know. I would pray to um, to expedite this, man. You know, the scriptures say that um, the Lord shall shorten the days for the elect's sake, right? And for the wicked that pray for the end of the day, what end shall it be for you, right? Nothing but destruction, um, you know, uh, uh, wickedness, and... You know, a lot of famine, man, a lot of destruction, a lot of hunger. That's the answer for you, man. But for those, for the elect's sake, for the 144, um, for the 144K, um, and the one third, you know, it'll be, it, it, it'll be great, you know. Lord willing, I'm fond of that number, man. Um, but this is what's happening, man. This is what's. This is what's going on. This is reality, man. Scriptures come to life. In a flash, man, and people still sleep. With that, so long.